maybe you are going to college you are in first year for example you are in you are freshman maybe your parents or your teacher or your lecturer will tell you to take things seriously because very soon you will graduate if maybe you are starting a job uh, maybe your boss is going to tell you that if you continue doing well in your job very soon you'll get a promotion very soon this and this will happen very soon this and this will happen because this the the, 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 the use of the word soon is to describe the enormity of the event that is to come after a certain period of time the period of time we may not know but the great but the, the, but the, but the hugeness of the event that we do know and so it is with Christ when he says that he is coming soon it is because of the that day which he comes the enormity of that day will be great there will be no other day like that on the earth there has not been a day like that on the earth and after that day comes there will never be a day like that on the earth that's why there is so much gravity on the hour of rapture the midnight hour where christ comes to deliver his people hallelujah so be watchful be watchful watch out young people let us repent let us return to the lord there is still hope for our generation to return to Christ. There is still hope for our generation to worship the true God of Israel. There is still hope for people to receive the Spirit of God and begin to prophesy and to have dreams and visions, having encounters with God on a daily basis by walking with Christ. Because remember, Christ says that He will be with us to the very end of time. Hallelujah. So there is hope. For the young people, let us repent. For the babies, let us repent. For the youth, let us repent. For the old people, let us repent. For the ones who are who, who left us. For them, things are already settled. They either wait, and then some of them are either in heaven, others may be in hell, awaiting judgment. So let us take these things very seriously. Because I know that if us as people we get to prepare for events for example if i have a, a, a for example a wedding to attend to next week and maybe it's a friend's wedding and i've been invited for that wedding i will have ample time i will prepare very well in anticipation that when that day comes i will be ready and this is just a one day event or maybe a one week event how much more preparation is required for a time which is unlimited in eternity where our ears will be unsearchable whereby if we have lived for a thousand years if we have lived for a millennium we have not yet begun eternity our number of years will also be unsearchable so there is so much preparation that is being uh, needed for us the church to prepare for those who have not been born again to receive the message of the cross and be born again not to prepare for the coming of Christ because that will be a great event and the important thing about this event is that when this event happens it will happen once and for all there will not there will not be a repeat of this event in the future so let us be able to learn the gravity of the midnight hour let us have hope let us not despair 